I get the feeling Geelong fans are a pretty tribal bunch. They're really loyal. Why do you think that is? Yeah, being a one club town, you kind of, I would imagine guys who grew up here don't grow up with the competition of other clubs, you know, trying to take their interests. So it's kind of all, all Geelong people know. It's a great problem to have as a player when you have such a passionate um, supporter base behind you, but I think it's just because it's such a tight-knit community. Everyone wants to feel like as if they're part of something, and, and by being a sport fan, I'm able to feel that sense of community belonging or the sense that I'm a part of something bigger than myself, which is pretty valuable. So, you know, there's been a lot of research that touches on this makes me feel better as a person. My self-esteem is higher. Um, I carry myself a bit better. Tell me honestly, have you ever had an unforgettable experience meeting a fan? Either something really oh, good or just <laughs> unforgettable? Fans are very passionate and it's almost like if you don't play well or you, the team doesn't play well, then they take it out on someone and it's generally the players. So yeah, they can be brutally honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are humans, we like to cut off reflected failure pretty quickly. It's why we say they lost, right? <laughs> we won and they lost. Probably a lighter hearted version rather than the real brutal ones. So just when kids come up to you and say, you weren't very good today, were you? And you're like, oh, thanks, buddy. No, you're right. Appreciate your feedback. <laughs> so do you think that fans then feel genuinely connected to their sporting heroes? More so today probably than they did even 10, 15 years ago. I think the access that athletes have now uh, is much greater than it used to be. I mean, with social media, every athlete being on, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat, um, they're, they're more involved in the community, they can interact with them outside of match day, um, and all those different areas where they can communicate and engage um, creates value for fans. So we spend a huge amount of time in the community, whether it's like healthy heroes programs, running school clinics, um, supporter open days, and especially with the new facility the way that it is now, you can come to the the um, Charles and Co Cafe, literally sit and have a coffee and watch us train. If you're a supporter, you just, you'd be loving it. And um, like I said, we feel like we owe our supporters a lot because of how loyal and passionate they are. And this is just kind of a small way of giving them some access into the inner sanctum. It's these types of connections with, with athletes that can build fandom and build fan loyalty long-term. If you're part of Geelong, you're part of something pretty special. And look, over recent times, they've had you know, some pretty good teams and they've had a lot of success so I think that kind of that in itself kind of breeds loyalty and passion but um, they've been passionate for a few years now I think it's about time we pay them back with some some more success you know. 